Yo, Sorrel. Yo, yo, my birthday coming up next week, bro. We got a section. What's the word? Yeah, for sure, bro. Hold on. Let me let me check my schedule real quick. Let me see if I'm busy. Mm, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I got to go baptize my fish, bro. But, but hey, 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 hey. I'll be at the next. What do you mean baptize a fish? Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> Man, I'm back. <laughs> wow. Thanks for coming back. I'm an introvert, but I'm also an extrovert. So I consider myself an intro extro, but I'm heavy on that intro. I'm not the type of introvert that folds like a lawn chair when conversation arises, but I also mentally check out mid conversation. Like I'm either going to be at home in my spider-man boxers playing 2k yelling at the young bulls to swing that rock right here nephew or i'm not slap boxing a bear with the feathers there's no in between like i just love being by myself more than i enjoy being a people now let's not get that twisted i love people i love hearing their stories and i love making people laugh but i also just like scratching my nuts more and more. he's okay all right i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry all right can my brother i got a brother scratching nuts I have no happy medium, and that's okay. Growing up, I've been referred to as the quiet kid, and that makes sense. I didn't really socialize much. Family's always been telling me to go out, meet new people. It's a blast. And that sounds good on paper, but when I put together the entire scenario, I just get more and more and more comfortable in my bed. All right, peep game and lock in. Hear me out. First, I got to even think about wanting to go to an event, and that's at the chances of that are real slim, all right? Then I got to find out who's going, all right? That's real key. Then I got to find out what type of event is it going to be. Then I got to find out what outfit to wear. Then I got to find out what outfit my boy is wearing so we don't match. Then I got to find out who I got to pick up because people don't know how to drive in 2024. Then I got to allocate how much money I need for gas and the event. And then I got to drive to the event and find parking. And if I think all that and I still go to the function, I'm disappearing and going home after 20 minutes. But on the off chance that I don't vanish, I'm in there getting more lit than a redneck's fireworks. If I get a little bit of that liquid courage in me, I'm pulling every single shot imaginable. Open, slightly open, heavily contested. Smothered I'm Holy That's another reason why I love staying in the crib and being an introvert because I just get less chances to embarrass myself unlike you extroverts. Extroverts have so many chances to embarrass yourself that I personally couldn't handle that mental stress. Embarrassment as an introvert gotta be one of the worst fears. Like if I drop something in the middle of the store, I'd rather walk away than go pick it back up. Like if I drop loose change, you won't see me picking that up. I'm dropping it and whoever picks it up, picks it up. I can't handle that level of embarrassment. The thing about me is that I'm not really an extrovert unless I'm with people I can tolerate. I don't get how you people can be extroverts 24 seven. Me personally, I can't do it. Like we are at a line in Target. Why are you telling me your great grandparents 75 year old love story? I'm sorry, like what about me look like yeah, let me go approach him, all right? I'm hoodied up, double AirPods in, Spider-Man pajamas, Crocs. What about that says, hmm, yeah, he gonna listen to this 75-year-old love story, man. He gonna listen good. Like, small talk is just too much for me, okay? My palms get weak. My arms get heavy. There's vomit on my shirt. Mom's spaghetti. potty break i just want to thank you guys for watching please forgive me for being gone for so long i uh had a lot of things going on i had some skin problems um i don't know if you can see that right there uh, can you focus yeah um oh shoot uh, and to be honest 
I just wasn't also locked in. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I've been out playing golf. This is where I am. Excuse me, guys. You're in the way. Excuse me, guys. Guys. There's the flag. Guys, you're in the way of my shot. Guys, you're in the way of my... Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yep. Yep. Thank you. All righty. And enjoying my life. But I owe it to you guys to make videos because, one, I love this thing so much. And two, I love you guys, the community that I've been building over here. So I thank you guys for just being patient with me. And yeah, couldn't tell you when the next video is coming out. Um, I don't know if you're still here for this rant. Um, thank you. And give me a thumbs up in the comment. It's got to be a thumbs up, though. Emoji. It's if you're still here, though. If you're still here at the end of the video, you stick to the end. You know what I'm saying? But remember, like, comment, subscribe, do all those things. Maybe share with a family member or something like that. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Goodbye. I'm talking big man, big hands, counteract, big man, show your hands.